Nice to see you again in this video. In this video I will reveal to you how I created this magical machine. First I will cut the 48 meter diameter PVC pipe into small pieces. Next I will cut them lengthwise. I will use a small bicycle rim to make the flywheel. Next I will attach each piece of plastic I just cut to the bike rim. I will use a special glue to fix the plastic pieces as firmly as possible. Then I use the broken engine. I will disassemble the engine. I will keep the rotor shaft. Next I used four round magnets. I would still use special glue to secure the magnet to the rotor shaft. Note, please attach four magnets symmetrically. Next, I used two trapezoid-shaped plastic pieces to make a base for the rotor shaft. I will drill a 20 mm round hole on it. I will attach those two plastic plates to the two bearings of the rotor shaft. Next, I'll glue it to the wooden base with specialty glue. I will use half a 90 mm diameter PVC pipe. Then I used a saw to cut it into two small pieces. Note, give it two legs so it can stand. Next, I used one millimeter diameter copper wire and wrapped it around two pieces of PVC. Note, wrap the wire loops tightly together. I will wrap it three times and 50 times each time. After a while, I finished two stator coils. Next, I used specialized glue to apply to the two legs of the stator coil. Then I attached it to both sides of the rotor shaft. Next, I used a bottle cap and two round pieces of plastic to make a pulley for the motor. Use special glue to stick them together. I made two pulleys, one big and one small. I will attach the small pulley to the motor shaft. Next, I will solder a base. I will install two bearings on the flywheel on both sides. Next, I will place the flywheel onto the base and weld the two bearings into place. I added a large pulley to the flywheel shaft. Next, I welded the motor mount to the machine. I continued using special glue to attach the motor to the bracket. I will connect two stator coils together, but I need to clean the two copper wire ends.
Then I use solder to connect them. At the remaining two ends of the copper wire, I will connect to one converter end. Next, I used a tire inner tube to make a belt. To get a circular belt, I used a needle to sew the two ends of the belt together. Be careful so it can last as long as possible. Now I will put the belt on the two pulleys. I just did a little handwork and the machine worked. Next I will create a 220 volt transformer circuit. I used one socket and one transformer circuit, then used special glue to glue it to a piece of wood. I will connect the two outputs of the circuit to the socket. I have completed the hydro generator, now let's test it together. I will use the available source for testing. Next, I attached a tube to the water source leading to the flywheel. I will turn on the water at the source and adjust the water line so that the flywheel spins fastest. As we can see, the water source makes the flywheel rotate, and from there, the rotational motion will make the generator rotate. With this invention, I can generate electricity in rivers or streams using water power. This is the transformer circuit I made before. Next, I will use the fan. Plug the power supply into the outlet then turn on the fan switch and the fan will start rotating. Next is an incandescent bulb. Plug it into the socket and it will light up.
You see, this is all electricity generated from the motor. Watch the video to see how I test the machine for accuracy. It's amazing how powerful and accurate this machine is. Let's admire the results we have created. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below the videos, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much. If you like this idea, don't forget to give me a like and hit the notification bell to see the latest videos. Thank you very much.